All right, guys. It's the Varrock HW110. 22 caliber. Adjustable rear butt pad. The safety is on both sides with the visual fire, audible clicks, and supporting sporting a sniper 3 by 12 by 50 scope. It is first focal plane. Was it worth the wait, guys? I still have not pulled the trigger on this little boy yet. Gonna call him Deuces. Yep. At least for as long as I can remember to say Deuces. All right. We have an ambidextrous thumb hole stock with the little groove on both sides. As you can see, the cocking lever is adjustable so you can move it to the left hand side. The tank, well this is the long version, so I don't remember exactly what the cc's is on this one. It is a 3000 PSI. You can see the gauge, although on the business end, it is very easy to see. To feel this gun, all you have to do Let's pull this. And this is this all this does is keep the port clean. You put your fill probe in, fill it from whatever fill source you choose to 1000, excuse me, to 3000 bar, uh, 3000 psi, 200 bar, okay? It has a generic eBay, well, Amazon bipod. Give credit to who credit is due. The gun is short, feels pretty good. And like I say, I haven't shot it, but I have uh, went to clean it last night and it would not take the little you know weed eater type line through it so i had to use um, i had to use your standard cleaning rod you know on the farm uh to clean it straight down the barrel so it went in like this had to kind of wiggle it through the baffles. But once you get past that last baffle, then just be gentle on your way down, but then you can clean it. Okay? All right. And because, like I say, I have not shot it, not going to keep you guys out here the whole time but my buddy Will told me that it loved the JSB um, Kings but I do not have any of those I'm waiting for them to come in so I do have nine pellets
so I am going to run these guys through. All right, so what I have, and I'm sorry for the little leaning, but the phone is kind of funky in the holder. Okay, Air Arms Diablo Field, 16 grain. Hades, 15.89. Falcon, and the Falcon are 13.43. RWS Hobbies. The Hobbies are 11.9. Oh. Yep, Hobbies are 11.9. Uh, H&N Excite. The Spikes. I don't know what the weight is on those. JSB Jumbo Heavy. 18.13. Alright, the... Discovery, the Benjamin Discovery, 14.3, the Crossman Premier, 14.3, and the J, <coughs> the JSB Jumbo Monster at 25.39. I am shooting 20 yards, so I'm gonna take you guys down here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you watch me fire a few shots. Like I say, I'm not going to keep you guys through the whole thing. So I'll let you see how a few pellets run through it. And then it will be a minute before I give you an update on this because I still have uh, that fun little Air Force Talon P that I'm playing with. But guys, I just want you to know that um, that Varrock, <laughs> I just think that gun is friggin' beautiful. Beautiful, guys. All right. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna run through first. Give me a second. Go load up something in the magazine. I'll come down here. Tell you what I'm gonna shoot at the first two big targets. All right, the first pellet to come down is gonna be the Air Arms Diabolo Field. I am going to be shooting at the upper right target, okay? Um, I'll probably take three shots and see what happens. I just wanna see where I'm at on paper right now, so. Might be a big pause between first and second. But anyway, guys, first shots coming down. Virog HW110 and 22 cal.
Alright guys, we got seven shots of me fiddle fattling around with it. Those last three is me getting kind of sort of dialed in. So those three shots look kind of good. So why don't we just go ahead, move it on out to Let's go ahead and move it out to 40 and see what happens. So just a second. So, you know guys, I was gonna just take you on out to 40, but I thought maybe we could have an intermission. And I'm gonna go back up here and show you some more about this gun. I know, this is supposed to be a short video, but, I thought you guys would have a lot of questions. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some of those answered for you, okay? Alright, first I'm going to tell you that cocking this gun is a dream, okay? Now, loading the magazine. Ugh. All right. Loading the magazine. The magazine is metal. It has two of the rubber O-rings on it. And that's what holds the pellets. So what you're gonna do is thick side is forward. And then this crazy ragged side is what's backwards. So you're just gonna load your pellets in holds 10 you probably already know from being down there watching them come down field or down range okay it's very easy to load and it's it's very easy to cop let's put that back on all right so what you want to do is you want to come over to the right side, okay? And you want to push this lever up. Now this is the crazy part about it. You want to push this lever up while sliding and it clicks, okay? That's it, guys. It's just that simple, All right? You want to fold your lever back it adjusted itself as you did that smooth as butter smooth as butter guys but anyway I thought I'd come back up give you guys a look at that uh, we've only made it to the first pellet and it looks like we might be doing some testing later uh, with the crony on this pellet so let's see what happens uh, out here at 40 yards and we'll take it from there okay all right again this is the Viroc hw 110 and this gun is in 22 caliber and we are shooting the air arms pellet right now okay so let's get you guys Get you guys downfield now. Sorry. I'm gonna get you guys downfield while I get the tripod ready to set you down. And I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at <clears throat> the target underneath uh, the target that I shot last. The one I put the last three pellets in. I'm gonna shoot at the target underneath it. Okay. So, but well maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. We will shoot. Um, let's just go three, 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 and then I'll throw one back up there since we're at 40 yards now. Okay, 
All right, guys, I'm going to go back up, bring Leah down range. guys you have shared my first 20 shots with the Varrock H W 110 um <laughs> I, I'm not I have not upset 
with that at all. Just so you guys know, here's a pinky. 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 All right. Now, I've let you guys enjoy those first few shots, but you know what you what you haven't seen or what you really can't tell, I don't think. Let me hold this. Um, from being back there is just how quiet this gun is. So, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm so proud of myself for these <laughs> for these last two purchases. Man, am I happy with these two. Uh, so, let me get the legs down. Okay. And I think maybe you guys deserve to hear just how silent this gun is so with that being said guys I put 20 shots through it let me let me put Let me put 10 more through it and you guys take a listen. So. There you go. Now, take this out. That's the only crazy thing about the gun, guys, is having to lift that little lever seems like they would have put it on the opposite side or something but hey you do get two magazines with it looks like the way it shot at 20 and the way it shot at 40 was pretty close to identical like there wouldn't be much adjustment I am gonna go ahead and move it uh, one click right all right go ahead and move it one click right these turrets on this sniper scope are extremely tight, extremely. But I'm gonna tell you, man, the glass on it is just that glass. It's just that clear. That was one click. All right. Get it out there. I'm just going to go to the top target because that's the only target I didn't shoot. So I'm going to put all 10 in the top one uh, on the left. And then we'll walk down. We'll take a look at that. We'll give you one more once over and we'll call it a night. Okay. Take it off safety. Guys, this trigger on here, when you it's got a little bit of travel. A little bit. But the break, man, if you dang near blow, it this gun will shoot the trigger so light. Okay? So anyway, with that being said, let's get these 10 in. And 
I should have been moving this to the left, but you can't see that orange. Uh, at least I don't see that orange break up when you hit it. So anyway, you'll, you'll see why in just a second. Remember, when we go down, what you're looking at is a 10-shot group. I just pulled that one. I think this is the last shot, guys. That's it to cock it right there. That's it. Push this lever. I'm just going to push. Oh, I got one there. One there. Let's go take a look. 10 shots, 40 yards. The uh, air arms are 16 grains. And we're just gonna walk it on down. We're shooting the top target. So we got a 10 shot group. I do admit to pulling one, uh, but you know. We'll see what you guys think. All right, guys. Let's get you down here. Sorry. I'm getting you down here. I'm getting you down here. There you go. All right, 10 shots, that top left target. You guys get to enjoy me fiddle fattling around because remember, I don't do the edit thing. All right, now, Pinky, Pinky. So there is a pool. There is a pool. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did I make a good choice, guys? Did I make a good choice? I think I did. I think I did. So how about? We go back up here, we take another walk around, and then I'll say goodnight. I'm pretty sure as you guys can see, it's starting to get a little dark. Um, I think it's, man, probably, probably around seven o'clock. <sighs> okay. What do you guys think? Virock HW 
110 in black pepper laminate 22 caliber we tried one pellet but I will have to test more I would like to know if it shoots everything that good so adjustable rear butt pad ambidextrous thumb hole stock you can change the cocking mechanism sniper 3 by 12 by 50 first focal plane now if you guys are wondering why I went to a sniper over my panties because the sniper does cost more I bought a sniper first focal plane and sorry if I say this is first this is second focal plane uh, I bought a sniper first focal plane and I loved it so much that I decided to try this so I ordered uh, two of these give them a try and man they are amazing so I have now shot 30 shots through this guy we are just we're just right at a hundred and twenty uh, bar okay right at a hundred and twenty bar so I would fill it up we will get it chronic to see what it's actually doing uh, I think it's uh, I think uh, air guns of Arizona where it came from is saying that this gun was shooting in the mid sevens we will take a look and see this will probably be one of the few guns that I don't buy for, buy for power or I didn't buy for power but anyway guys this gun is so pretty that is why I bought it I've been looking at the gun looking at the gun and never buying it never buying it and then I finally pulled the trigger on it and man I am just so happy I did it's worth every penny uh, the last I looked this gun is on sale at Air Guns of Arizona uh, this one and the longer one uh, I think this is the 16 inch barrel so I think the 22 inch barrel as well not for sure on the on those barrel lengths but I do believe this is a 16 um, anyway guys um, 11.33 and it's, to me it's worth every penny you know you guys have now shared my first 30 shots with it I don't think that was horrible even after 40 yards I mean I think that the first 30 I'm happy with the gun guys and I can only get better with it I can only get better with it so was the tease worth it do you think I spent my money wisely guys I look forward to hearing from you I look forward to playing with this in a little while but right now it's time to get back to the Talon P and mess with it for a little while but don't worry this will be back out until next time guys stay safe shoot straight